Good evening, I'm Greg Floyd. I'm Liz Bishop. An Albany playground turns into a shooting gallery. Three people shot tonight at Livingston Park. Just minutes ago, we learned that one of those victims, a 21-year-old man, has died. The other two victims, also in their 20s, are hospitalized in stable condition. It's an active scene at the park at this hour. Our Brandon Lewis is there live. It's at North Lake and 3rd in Albany. Police still trying to figure out just what happened. Brandon? Yeah, Liz, that's right. Police just giving us that update. 21 year old man confirmed dead here. The scene here is uh, continuing to be very active. In fact, if you take a look over my left shoulder here, uh, you'll see evidence markers down on 3rd Street. Many lights set up to help investigators as they continue to collect evidence. I want to give you a look at how active it was earlier with lots of people out here about 8 o'clock when this first started uh, unfolding. Uh, earlier, though, you may remember a witness telling us that they saw two others that were shot, some of them teenagers, but police telling us us now that that was actually a 25 year old man and a 28 year old man both are stable at Albany Med Center. Witnesses at the time said that there was some sort of argument but police at this point have yet to confirm that information. Uh, police telling us tonight though that they while the park was crowded that they uh, are still struggling to come up with witnesses and have this message for the community tonight. The big thing to get across tonight is that uh, an incident didn't happen here in this community and uh, Anybody in this community that may have seen or heard anything is urged to call the Albany police. Um, this is an opportunity to ostracize those people that, uh, you know, resort to violence in, in their neighborhood. And at this point, uh, police have not had any suspects, uh, anyone arrested at this point. A witness again saying that they saw someone leaving in a car, but police are still canvassing the area, searching for any information that they can. Again, we just received one update from police. We're going to continue to gather the information, and we'll have another live report coming up a little bit later in this newscast. For now, we're live in Albany. Brandon Lewis, CBS 6 News.